Alvarez versus Ildirum. Let's talk about it. What's happening, boxing fans? It is Dr. Bring It. Well, let's talk about this fight here. Ildirum is no slouch. Let me just put it out there right now. Okay, I know a lot of you guys, as soon as you saw the headlines out there, that Canelo is going to be facing Ildirum. Who the heck is Ildirum? Of course. Okay, well, let me just tell you, um, Ildirum is, he's not a slouch. Okay, the guy has 21 wins and he's got um, like 12 knockouts, according to Box Rec. He is 5'11" which gives him a three inch height advantage over Canelo. Canelo being only 5'8". So we're gonna definitely see a height difference. Now we've seen that, um, that height difference already even bigger against uh, Kovalev. And we all know what happened with, with Kovalev and Canelo. So with this fight against Ildirum, um, will probably see similar results, in my honest opinion. I think Canelo is a better fighter. He's got more skill. Um, I don't think he's gonna be afraid of Ildirum whatsoever. Ildirum, let's talk about him real quick. He has this peekaboo style. He likes to stay right in front of his opponent. And he has a stiff jab, okay? And one thing that he likes to do is likes to just stand there in front and try to, to smother his opponent. Now, again, against a Canelo Alvarez, Canelo is going to pretty much eat that up because Ildirum is gonna bring the fight to Canelo. And Canelo is going to use his footwork, his head movement, He's gonna bang the body with, with, with counter punches. Um, and he's just gonna step around, hit, hit him on the side, uh, do the liver shot. Um, that's his bread and butter. I mean, again, Canelo Alvarez, I have to remind you guys that Canelo is the, the most dangerous body puncher in the game today. Okay, so Ildirum's body is going to be tested. So even though he's, he's tall, Canelo has the ability to go to the body and take away the power of his opponents. And Ildirum's not going to be any more <laughs> of an exception to that. Um, Ildirum is, is, I believe he's 29 years old, maybe 30 years old. Um, but I don't think he has the skill and 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 the the IQ to be able to take on somebody like Canelo, I believe this is going to be a relatively relatively easy fight. It it may actually go 12 rounds. Um, I don't think it's going to go 12 rounds. I think he's going to hit him in the body and fold him up and and just open an opportunity for for headshots. Especially, it seems like. Like Ildirum is is susceptible to to uppercuts, as we saw against uh, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, so when they look at the tape, it's it's going to be uh, you know a pretty easy um, game plan. It's going to be classic Canelo, bang to the body, um, develop his his jab in the beginning opening up to the body shots, and then an arsenal, a full arsenal probably in around four, five, six. Um, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to even say, I know I know a lot of people are saying that, that Ildirum is just a tomato can, but I don't necessarily think so. I'd like to give him a little bit more respect than that. Um, but, that's it. I mean, I mean am, I, am I missing anything from Ildirum, especially now that I'm, I'm hearing Ildirum and Canelo are sparring partners. So even more, Canelo knows um, Ildirum, if that's the case. He knows his, his style. 
and he would definitely not be intimidated whatsoever <laughs> against Il Diram. And um, I think he'll probably get knocked out within eight rounds. Chris Eubank Jr. was able to do it in three rounds, but that's just the type of fighter Chris Eubank Jr. is. Very explosive, but he was as tall, maybe even a little bit taller, maybe an inch taller than, than Il Diram. So that's it. Chime in, let me know what you think. And um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and like or share this, uh, this video with other people. And um, that's it. Stay safe out there. Talk to you soon.